All right, I just want to welcome everybody to both sides of the conversation, Hidden Gem segment. We got some amazing folks that we're going to be honoring today. Uh, I'm Rico Hamilton. I'm co-founder of Both Sides of the Conversation. I see your thumb. Who are you? <laughs> we live. Who are you? So good evening, everybody. This is Costello Crockett. Tonight, I'll be um, proctoring both sides of the conversation, Hidden Gym segment. We have two amazing guests here with us. Um, please let me introduce the co-founders of both sides of the conversation, Mr. Rico Hamilton and John Henry. Rico, you want to introduce yourself? I'm Rico Hamilton, co-founder of both sides of the conversation. And I'm John Henry, co-founder of both sides of the conversation. And tonight we have two, possibly three astounding guests um, to grace your presence. First, we have Miss um, Selena Thompson, Thomas. Um, Selena Thomas is a 10 year resident of Santa Clarita, a mother of three teenage daughters and a businesswoman, owner, CEO of Six Degrees HR Consulting, Currently, Ms. Thomas is running for city council on November 3rd to assist in the, recover, the recovery of small business in her community. Um, Selena, you want to say hello, and then I'll introduce our next guest. To be here tonight, it's nice to see everybody and uh, to be uh, a part of this field. I am currently running for city council. I'm the first African-American woman in Santa Clarita to ever do so, and We've had uh, a very favorable campaign so far, and I'm very excited to share that journey with you guys. Nice to see you. Thank you. And next we have Miss Fatina Holmes, is a San Francisco native who has committed her life to serving dis disadvantaged communities of color, the reentry population, women in the construction trades, and to providing ongoing empowerment and support to in workforce development. Fatina represents the ground movement where she lives and works actively with her community to the on the ground providing access to career and job opportunities. For the last 20 years, Fatina has worked with disadvantaged communities in career training, mentorship, case management, intake and retention efforts. She serves in a lead role at the Office of Economic and Workforce Development on construction training and placement efforts on high priority impact projects throughout San Francisco. She works closely with the contractors and stakeholders on construction projects to ensure fair and equitable job opportunities and career advancement in the trades for Bayview residents and San Francisco at large. She also leads several re-entry efforts, including her work within the jail facilities where she provides workforce training and brokers job opportunities for the interrupt predict and organize IPO reentry program and other jail initiatives before OEWD. Fatina worked for Young Community Developers Inc. provided job placement and retention support for District 10 residents. Fatina has received numerous published and unpublished accolades for the impact work she does. In 2018, she was honored and received a Phenomenal Woman in Career Development Award from the A. Philip Randolph Institute. She has also received various awards and recognitions from the city and county of San Francisco and the California legislature who recognize contributions to workforce as well to meaningful change in the Southeast and similarly situated communities. In 2005, as a member of the San Francisco Public Utilities Community Benefits Committee, she created a Southeast workforce plan for the construction work currently taking place in the Southeast. Um, she sits on the mayor's pre-apprenticeship program and is from her humble beginnings, she has experienced and overcome a lot of obstacles to, to succeed and has, and this inspired her to want to reach back to invest in her community in the same way. She has mentored many of the great community leaders from the Bayview and San Francisco. Amongst her passion is to empower and encourage individuals in her community to reach their full potential. 
and she wants to continue to act as a catalyst for her community and to help push forward the needle of progress for black and brown communities. Welcome, Ms. Holmes. Would you like to say hello? Absolutely, thank you so much. Again, my name is Fatinia Holmes. I am a Senior Workforce Development Specialist for the City and County of San Francisco, the Office of Economic and Workforce. And again, my passion, as you just read, for over the last 20 years, um, it's been challenging for me, but I was provided an opportunity. So my goal today is to talk to our kings and queens and uh, our soldiers and soldierettes in the community, our black and brown folks who would think they wouldn't ordinarily have a chance. And I'm talking about specifically in the construction trades and the other sectors, but I wanna talk about the faith of a mustard seed and just by lead, leading by example and myself. And I know if I can do it, they can do it too, just with the faith of a mustard seed and hard work. And so I'll end on a high note there. Ashe, thank you ladies again for being with us. I'll turn it over to John and Rico. All right, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll start first. I wanna ask, uh, I guess I'll start with Selena. Um, I just wanna know, you know, basically like what is it that keep you going? Um, it's definitely amazing the work that you're doing. Um, definitely to, you know, we have some amazing African-American women who does a lot of amazing stuff in our communities, especially being a perfect example of what resiliency should look like. and. You know, like what keep you going? What keep you motivated to continue to do the work and continue to be a light to all the young ladies that's out there and young men in our communities? I, I definitely can attest to my three daughters being the motivating factor um, as a mother. I think innately we um, evolve and become better women as you become mothers. And each one of them added a different kind of energy and fire to my, um, not just resilience, but my a concept of who I am and who I can become. And um, seeing who they're evolving into has also um, shifted my trajectory into a leadership role, which I never had political aspirations prior to COVID. Um, that was kind of an organic uh, evolution as well in that I, in my company that I uh, started here in 2014, uh, a lot of my small businesses were impacted greatly as everyone uh, because of COVID. And I just began to do videotapes every single day to help sustain and provide information to people that didn't have it. And then it, someone came forward to say, listen, we, we have city council seats that are open. We need a voice in that chair that's going to advocate for small businesses and of course that economic recovery but ultimately my daughters were the catalyst for why I even pursued it of course I had that meeting with them and uh, we had already a lot of visibility in this community because of my HR firm and then it, it took on a life of its own so I think every day because of that it's <clears throat> energized me but then also people like you you know at a distance saying I see you I hear you and you're representing us in a way that inspires. And none of us, I, I'm sure Fatima, we grind, but never think that, that that impacts someone else. And so when you find that out, you definitely um, become a, a, a good steward to that information. And I uh, understand mm -hmm. what's at stake. And I understand um, you know, the magnitude of this moment for women in politics. Uh, I didn't know when I took my oath that I was the first African-American woman to do so. And so that became a powerful moment for me. And so then every day it just became the pursuit of um, this opportunity for not just me, but for people coming behind me. And I have three, so that's the long and short of it. All right. Well, I just wanted to thank you for coming on tonight. I definitely wanted to reach out to you and, um, you know, one thing about both sides of the conversation, we are here 
um, you know, building our, our communities and we always want to support our people. And that's what this platform is about. And I'm um, just seeing you uh, on the ground running. I see you inspired, doing everything, trying to get people involved. And I felt like, hey, we got to reach out, uplift our uh, sister and supporter. Even though you in SoCal, we have a large viewing of uh, membership here from the uh, Southern California base. So we wanted to definitely get them involved, let them know who you are. So when it's time to go out and vote, they can definitely go out. We want to get our people in our seats. And um, just on the, the time of right now, women empowerment in the world that's going on, especially in the African-American community, our uh, sisters are stepping up, doing some amazing things. So we had to have you on as a hidden gem because we want people to know about you as you, you know, continue your political career, you continue to move forward. Uh, we know your name is going to just continue to get highlighted across the country. So we wanted to make sure we get you on and support you. And um, for the people that's down in your area, can you give them like a little feedback of some of the things? I know you're talking about new changes needed and you're pushing for a lot of changes. So as a voter and we, we, we're in your area and we're voting for you, um, what are some of the commitments and things that you want the community to know about you that you're really pushing to make a difference in your community? And the really big kind of point for me is that having never seen anyone of, of, of color in this seat, I realized that the focus uh, on this race has become the fact that now we can see someone that looks like us, that we can relate to. And people become engaged because of that. People pay attention. Um, as the only woman in this race right now, there are nine candidates. I am also the only woman in this race. And so it really has injected a lot in the focus of this race. And so I'm very mindful of that. I think what I want them to know is that even if, um, and, and you know, we don't get into anything to lose, but obviously every person that takes a step forward to make an attempt at that seat, at, at that opportunity, you have people behind you, no matter what the outcome, that will be encouraged to do so. I think people look at this race and they see in me themselves. They see somebody that will get up and grind every day. They see a mother. They see someone that is self-made and as in, in pursuit of all the right things on a daily basis. And um, and those are really the basic things. We want to take care of ourselves, take care of ours, be a positive um, influence on those around us so that, that you create a community of positive people. Um, there's been a lot of negative energy in this. I mean, it's polarizing, not just in this race, but in a national level. And I think um, I share all the ups and downs from my signs getting stolen to people writing me to drop out to, you know, but what evolves from those things are positive things. When my science got stolen, someone came forward and said, you know what, I'm going to donate so you can get billboards. They can't steal those. And then it just becomes brighter and bigger because it's positive. So I think if anything to if Frida Valley and you aren't able to vote, we'll definitely share the website so that you can support. So that visibility can continue. We're grassroots. We are uh, I'm again not from a political um, background, so I have political parties and uh, and and PAC money. This is all self-funded. This is all grassroots and people sending in. And they said, "I'm sending you my Starbucks money because I just want to see someone step forward in a way that you know I can give up my Starbucks for today to help in the cause to see someone like me, even if they're not of color. They're a mother." They're a businesswoman. There's there's someone that is invested in this community, um, and they want to see someone that's not political um, in that seat. And I think it's important because, and again, it only fosters engagement. It only fosters people to pay attention. Things start at the city municipal level that more than people realize. And so it's important that you become involved because that is it is impactful to your life. So I definitely think if they're not in San Lucrita and don't know Selena Thomas, that they definitely share the name, share the, the link that we'll give to, the, to the, um, the platform, and then definitely send good energy. That is definitely a motivating factor for me. Definitely. That's, that's beautiful. And I mean, that's what 
grassroots organizations is about, you know, and um, this is what this is about, you know, tapping into our community. Um, this is a definitely strong black and brown community and we want everyone to definitely get behind Selena, um, get out there and vote and, um, you know, help uplift the community. Um, this is the new faces, the new change of, of, of our future. And um, this is a real definition of perseverance. We have a, a, a mother here with children still fighting for the people, trying to make change. And I think that's what it's all about. And um, we definitely want to get behind you. For Registration Day, just so you know, today's National Voter Registration Day. So it's a good point to make on this day that you got to register to vote. Definitely. You still have time. Definitely, everybody get out there. If you haven't registered, vote. Um, I know the voter registration is on Instagram, Facebook, all of the social medias. Definitely yes. get out there, go on Selena's page and um, register and make your voice heard. I mean, we can all sit back and complain. But if we don't go out and do our part on voting day, um, then we, we, we can't even be a part of the solution. So um, definitely that's good. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I, I just want to say... I just want to say continue up the amazing work that you're doing. Continue to do what you're doing. You're definitely a light to, to those who are out there um, who don't, you know, even think that there possibly can be changed. Like you're definitely a representation of that. And you represent the, 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 the folks that we represent, right? The folks that, you know, who isn't really into politics, but they know they got to stand up for something and they got to stand for it. So, you know, you're inspiring so many people, you know, without even, possibly trying to inspire them. So we definitely want to bring you back um, for October. We have our um, our political month where we're going to do all politics for October. So we definitely want to bring you back and, and have an in-depth conversation around <laughs> politics and some other things that's, great. Uh, that's going on. So I definitely would love to invite you back to that. Everybody make sure y'all go out and register. Um, and make sure that you support our sister. If you can give them the information or some information that they can, or a website that they can go to so they can go and drop a donation down, that's, I know that that's always important in making sure that we can support each other. Thomas for citycouncil.com and I'll definitely send you the link after this so you can put it on your page when you tag me. And um, it's it's been a, a real blessing to be able to be a part of uh, and for people to be a part of my journey and to even know that people, because you don't know when you get up and grind every day, day 71, that, you know, who's watching. And so it's always nice to, to have people reach out and tell me that they could see it. So thank you so much. Congratulations to you, Selena. And you keep going and keep pushing because you're representing a strong black queen. And, and kudos to you for that. You keep pushing through. That's right. Unity. That's what we're trying to do. Radical unity with our community. And this is the start. Get behind Selena Thomas, you guys. Get out there and vote. Check out the website. Support the sister. All donations help. Every dollar counts. So please get out and support. Thank you again, Selena, for coming on as one of our hidden gems. And like Rico said, definitely before the end of the month, um, we're going to have a lot of political people coming on, talking about the propositions they back, they support, and um, definitely down in SoCal, this is a California thing, so we want to make sure that everybody in California is educated on the propositions, the people that's in place, so definitely we'll reach out to you, and hopefully you're available. I know once it get closer, you're going to be running around and around, and around but uh, definitely we want to uh, get you back on for that. I'm doing an election watch on November 3rd that I'll be doing live on my page that's really powerful i think for people that have been watching they'll definitely be clued in into that and i will all be watching all the elections but i've definitely had people reach out to say hey you need to have an election watch that night um between the the mail-in ballots and what we'll be doing live when the polls close so i have a great team that will will be focused on making sure that that information is shared and you're constantly getting updates so yes i definitely will love to come back in october all right, thank you very much. Now we're going to jump up to our other hidden gem, another sister that's powerful, trailblazing, grassroots, dedicated, consistent. I know this sister. Uh, mm -hmm. She puts the work in. She is a real definition of boots on the ground for the community. Uh, Fatima just wanted to bring you in and just thank you, sister, for all the work you do, not committing, uh, uh, quitting on the community. We know in San Francisco there's a lot of challenges. Uh, 
different struggles. We're dealing with a lot of things that's going on about San Francisco. Uh, but through it all, you have been on the ground, continue to fight to unify our people. Um, and just want to enter, bring you in and just say, you know, thank you for all what you're doing. And uh, we just want to appreciate you. And we had to get you on both sides of the conversation because um, we also know the importance of highlighting the people that do the work. And a lot of times we have to wait for the news and the other uh, media outlets to come recognize the people in our community. And me and Rico, um, this is our way of saying, hey, we see y'all. We see the work you're doing. We want to highlight you. The people in the community that don't know you, um, this is the opportunity for them to see you, recognize you, and they see you. Um, they can say, hey, thank you, too, for all the stuff you're doing for our community. So but no further ado, I'm going to let you come on in and uh, let the people know what you're doing and what you're all about, sister. Okay, thank you so much. That's a hard act to follow. But first, very humbly so, both John and Rico, I want to thank you for this opportunity and this platform for me to speak, talk a little bit about who I am, where I came, come from. And again, my goal is to reach folks who would normally ordinarily think from the community, and I'm talking about both female, uh, brown and black, uh, no matter what color you are, just folks who are eager to do something different, uh, despite of your background, uh, be it drug addiction, jail, um, uh, you know, records and different things when it comes to employment, and as long as you put your best foot forward and do what you need to do, and I'm coming from a very humble space of, with me, the job is a resource, but God is the source. And I just want to talk about a little bit about what I do uh, and, and, and what information and resources out there and how I can be, uh, want to continue to be a catalyst, but how I can be effective working with folks who are, who are in need in a nutshell. And so again, my name is Patina Holmes. I'm a senior workforce development specialist for the city and county of San Francisco. The mayor's office um, hasn't always been that way. I've been doing this, been blessed with the opportunity. And I say, I've been blessed to be a blessing. I want to say it in that context uh, because I have struggled in the past and I've been 20 years coming uh, out of jails, uh, drug addiction, uh, homelessness, and, and just saying from making bad choices. But I won't uh, be admiss if I didn't mention uh, the person who gave me my first start and that's Mr. Dwayne Jones uh, 20 years ago. And so from for the last 20 years, with a special emphasis on the reentry, I worked with young community developers from 2000 to 2010, coming in as a volunteer, sitting in the chairs on GA, uh, food stamps, uh, just hungry, hungry for an opportunity. Um, the key to consistency to me is to be consistent, diligence and with repetitiveness. And, and when it comes to our folks, um, and, I, and I'll speak in I statements, but a lot of it is about trust having the trust in the system, and which a system that has been broken for years, um, having the faith of a mustard seed to try something different and to give it to all, no matter who's looking to the left or right regarding judgment, regarding your partners and family members are the naysayers. Um, I have a hashtag that I say pushing through on my Facebook, and it's really a form of mental where I uh, continue to tell myself, no matter what pops up in my mind regarding my past, to continue to work towards my goals and don't let nothing get. And so pushing through is just a mental form to me just to keep going even when I get tired and rest, but don't ever stop. And so um, 20 years working with the construction trades, I uh, uh, currently work to tell you a little bit about uh, the current, my current portfolio is Sunnydale Project, Alice Griffith, Hunter's View, uh, Portrayal Hill currently, all of San Francisco, as you uh, heard her read the bio earlier, worked on the benefits package during that time for the work that's currently going on. All of District 10 PUC projects, 5050 Evans Streets, the Biosolids, Hunters Point Shiplark, Shipyard, Block 48 that's just starting up, in addition to 60 active projects at the airport and a lot in Soma. With that being said, I work with a special emphasis with folks with the reentry, uh, in addition, because I wear a lot of hats, I work very closely with Rico with IPO, both family and Tay, from a city aspect to grab the folks who have their driver's license and uh, ready to go forward with their high school diploma, uh, formerly incarcerated, uh, gun charges, uh, robberies, uh, made some mistakes, who are trying to turn their life around and get some steady employment so they can <laughs> weather the storm of the rent in San Francisco, if you will. Um, 
my knack is working with people, motivating folks. We currently, I, in addition, work with City Build Academy, which I work closely with uh, uh, Chase Torres, which is day-to-day uh, -day over there, program manager. But I work with the recruitment and the intake in these different hard-to-serve communities, which is my specialty, to go in on the ground and get folks, again, uh, both young women and men, 18 years and older, uh, who would like to do the construction trades and can see their self uh, within the 26 building and trades. And uh, I look for folks who are motivated, uh, understand, uh, you know, once shown, you don't have to have a lot of experience with it. Uh, we want folks who are green so they can train them, kind of mold them throughout this 18 week process. Uh, City Build takes place over at 1400 Evans Street. It is Monday through Friday. We are currently in cycle 33. All of the women uh, from, I've been with the cycle, we're in cycle 33. I've been with City Build since the conception, since 2005. So I've been doing placement with hard to serve projects for community mem members in San Francisco at large for 20 years. Uh, and uh, a lot of the dynamics is folks being motivated to show up and to show out regardless to all the politics that play out on the site. I don't want to act as if there's not a lot of controversy on the site because I'm here to spit real. Um, the prejudice, uh, you know, the uh, bringing in the core crews because I'm at the table with the contractors where I do the pre-construction meetings, where I am uh, negotiating on the behalf of our community residents that live in that project area as first priority to get on that site. They want to bring in their folks from, you know, Sacramento, uh, Watsonville, you understand? And so my job is to make sure that I'm checking their core crew list, making sure folks out of the last 60, out of the last 100, out of the last 60 days are part of their core crew and then making an opportunity for folks in the community in short. And so it's a large umbrella, but uh, my goal is to work with training and, and find folks in the community to take advantage of those opportunities. That's a, that's a lot of amazing stuff. <laughs> that's a lot of amazing stuff. So one of the things is, is that you, uh, you probably didn't know I was, uh, I went to city bill. I was cohort three. Oh, so now you at 33, I was cohort three, right? Yeah, so yeah. city build is one of the things that helps support me, uh, and getting to the level that I'm at now and being an amazing leader that I am inspired to be. Right. So um, also, I just want to, you know, commend you on all your amazing work and all the stuff that you have going on in our community. I met mm -hmm. you, I think it was 2010. Yep. 2010. Two I was trying to get the date over in Fillmore, Cheryl Davis over with Kamaya. And you right, were my, right, lead right. Person, my, my lead person over there to help me navigate the Fillmore area, Fillmore area and get the youngsters to work and motivate it when I did presentations there. And so I thank right. you. Right. Mm -hmm. And when I and when I seen you and met you then, you still had this like the cause sometimes when you see folks like they have this drive and then as the as time passed, the drive kind of changes. But like you keep the same energy, you keep that same drive, and like you one hundred percent real with folks and you making sure that you know you're putting our people on and you not putting our people in position where they can actually be successful and actually win. That's what a real hidden gem is, is when they're putting people in place and they're supporting individuals and they're putting themselves and their faces out there to show young black people and brown people, look, we can do anything but fail, right? We can succeed. We can do it. And no matter where we come from and what backgrounds we come from, look at what I have done and you can do the same thing. And you are the perfect example of that. You are definitely a gem. You're a diamond not even in the rough, you just a diamond, you shining, you're a VVS sister, you shine even in the dark, right? So yeah. I, you know, I definitely wanted to commend you when, when me and John was talking about hidden gems and people we want to highlight, your name was at the top of the list. You know, we've been just trying to figure out the show and making sure that, you know, okay, we got to get her on because we know that all the work that you do, we hear from our young people, you know, oh, I'm uh, hook me up with Fatina, hook me up with Fatina. I'm like, well, you got to wait to get to Fatina. You got to start with me first. <laughs> And if you can stay consistent with me, then we'll move you on to the next level. But, you know, so, you know, we definitely want to continue to highlight you and support you with everything that you got going on. It would be good if, John, if we can do a show 
around the construction industry so that we can get some of these young folks inspired to get into the trades. Uh, John has also an amazing story about the trades um, okay. as, as it relates to uh, him being a part of Omega. They want to send him to college. John okay. said, nah, I ain't going to college. I'm going to, I'm going to trade school college. And he ended up, you know, starting his own business and, uh, you know, having an amazing career, you know. So, you know, I love you with all my heart. Thank you for everything that you do in our community. Thanks for being an amazing sister to myself, amazing friend, someone that I can look up to and be inspired off of. Thank you, Fatima. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I want to say this because I'm so humbly grateful. Uh, it's nothing if we don't give it back for myself. Folks get in position, especially... I want to say our folks, uh, our folks, people of color, or it doesn't matter what color it is, don't never get in a position and forget where you started at, or who helped you, who helped shape you. For me, I don't care for purposes, homeless, without, I give my last. I don't never forget what it feels like to be without, and I let that be my driver. Um, you know, if I got five, I, you know, the, the next person got 250 or take the, take the whole five because my hustle not raggedy because I'm a go-getter. You understand me? And I, I want to make sure that I'm spreading that level of motivation to folks who feel discouraged. Even right now, as I speak, I'm going through the storm, but I'm, I'm going to continue to claim greatness. Uh, this is unprecedented times. And I know it's, if we continue to stick together, I want to give a special shout out to our mayor, uh, Shimon Walton. Uh, Joshua Arce, uh, my director, Ken Nim, and I'd be amiss if you can just allow me uh, for all the people, women uh, that, of color, because this is about color. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Our strong black kings and queens, but no matter what color you are, um, it's like this. It's a movement right now, and I want to say this as I close out about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a movement, but it's really Black Lives Matter because our lives matter, I matter, and it's not just about the slogan. And so for folks who are in the way, this is a movement. And I got educational tips that, you know, I'm talking about like-minded people. I'm talking about folks from our tribe because everybody is not with this movement. There's a lot of blocking. There's a lot of racism. I deal with it daily as well. People don't want to see me win. You understand just by being a female in the construction trade because it's male dominated. I go through that through my office. I go through that with contractors. I go, that, go through that with the community. But one thing's for sure, if we keep our intentions pure and if we work closely together to support each other, the sky is the limit. Definitely, we uh, definitely there with you. And uh, like, like Rico say, we have resources here. You know, our young people and people in the community, um, say they can't get the help. So here's a, a, a perfect example. You guys can reach out. Uh, Fatina, could you put your uh, ways that people can get a hold of you? If you could just shout it out. Um, so can connect it. Absolutely. So you can email me. Now it's COVID. Of course, everything is shut down. But if you email me, I'm a woman of my word, word and I'll follow through. My email address is capital F as in Frank. A T H I N A dot h-o-l-m-e-s at sfgov.org if you email me you can put both sides of the conversation just referred put a small storyline it doesn't have to be a book of what you're trying to do and i'll follow back up with you with my work phone all right that's what definitely I'm don't write no book <laughs> no, no, but but I, I promise to follow back up with you because I, I'm answering emails from my phone and I, I take pride and follow through. I like to under promise and over deliver. And right. so wow, that's good. Yeah, and we appreciate that because a lot of times, you know, that is one of the knocks that um, you know, communicates from City Hall to the community sometimes is challenging. And uh, we just appreciate you for that, being consistent because sometimes that little call back or that one little thing will, will change a person's mind and uh, attitude of how they feel about the way they can go from City Hall to the community. So definitely just wanted to say, man, I appreciate you. I love you as well. 
uh, just to hear your testimony has re-energized me because we all go through that time where we be doing so much and we feel like, hey, it's time yeah. to get up and it's time to take a step back. But right. uh, hear that energy, that focus and that love for what you have for the people and what you've been through definitely keeps me energized. Uh, we do go through the pitfalls. We do go through the challenges. Um, we know what all the stuff is going on. We hear the rumors and different things. But um, it's just good to know that you're still there, consistent, going through the storm, standing yes. up. And um, bless the community, you know, and that's one thing that we believe here at uh, both sides of the conversation. You can't lead the community if you don't feed the community. So you did. Both of you are definitely feeding our communities, and we need it. And uh, we give them the three pack love with food, knowledge, and education. So, you know, I just want to say thank you guys for coming on, giving up your time this evening. You guys are our hidden gems for this week, and we're going to continue our segments of hidden gems. You know, upcoming, we have our educational series on Thursday. Thursday is our educational day. We have a sister from L.A. coming in to talk about um, financial literacy, credit repair, how to deal with bankruptcies, um, a lot of information. You know, that's one thing that we're doing here is trying to feed the community with free information, trying to unify. We understand that financial literacy is a, is a pathway to freedom because we know debt and other things keep us enslaved. So as a black community, we have to get in the financial uh, power and the, uh, with it, uh, to, to, to help move the community. And it takes dollars. And the best way to do it is through financial literacy so that we can leave generational wealth and uh, definitely help the community. So once again, thank both of you guys for coming on tonight. Please be available. We'll be reaching out, uh, Selena, because we definitely want to get you on on a, um, our political talk at the end of the month. And uh, Fatima, keep doing the great things that you're doing. Let us know if there's anything that we can help you with. If you have anything that you guys want to promote, um, one thing here at Both Sides of Conversation is, is, a, is another platform, a hub for communication. So if you have okay. jobs or opportunities, shoot it oh, to great. me. We'll get it in the group. If we need to do a live for you to get the information out, we want to continue to pump the information to community. Um, we've been okay. in a lot of community meetings with Cheryl Davis, and a lot of community people are, are frustrated, and they're saying that the, the information is not getting back to the community. So we want to make sure we are part of that community hub of information so that we know that our community is getting it. So thank you guys very much. Oh, one more. Oh, Selena has something she going to say. Yo, Mike, you got to unmute your mic, Selena. <laughs> we can't hear you. Uh, let me see if your mic is unmuted. Uh, let's see. Can you try it now? Is your mic on? Can't hear you yet. Let's see what's going on. Let's see here. Okay. All right, you got it? Can we hear you? Can't hear you. Uh -uh. Oh, you froze up. I think she froze up. And we apologize. We've been having the Zoom bug all day. Whatever it is, we get the Zoom bug. Hey, we can't hear you, but your mute, your mic's unmuted. Okay, HR consultant. I guess she's trying to put up her uh, information. Uh, see if we can get her mic right. Is your ear is your is it your earbuds? Do you have earbuds on? Do you have your earbuds on? No. Well, we still can't hear you. Um, I'll reach out to you. Email me if there's information you want us to get out to the community. We'll get it out to the to the people on our platform. Rico, you had any last words for Fatima or anything? Rico, you had any last words? Are you good? Okay, we good. Well, okay, thank you. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you. You guys motivated me to a level 
and gave me another 20 years that I can hold <laughs> dear to my heart and keep pushing through, okay? All right, thank, thank you, you so much for the love. Safe, and uh, we're praying for you guys and we're behind you guys 100%. And vice versa, we got this. One All movement. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. All right. I don't know, Selena. We off the live now, but I don't know what, <laughs> what happened. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't know how to turn it on. All right, you guys, I have to go. I'm having dinner with my mom's in law. So it's her birthday. <laughs> okay. So I have to go. Okay. John, I'll hit yep. you up uh, after they have dinner. Relax, man. Uh, Damn. I'll <laughs> you did it. Look, now you know how to do it. Relax. You got it. it look, that probably was meant. You got it. You did it. Now you know how to go live. You won. Oh, that was frustrating. Sorry, oh. guys. Oh, sorry okay. about that. Sorry, right, Rico. Well, we just, uh, I, I, uh, um, sorry, Selena. I, we couldn't hear what you were saying. Um, I know. I'm sorry. I went in and out because it's it just easier to cut, log off. But I appreciate you guys. Yeah, no, sorry about that. No, no. It, it, it happened. This Zoom thing with all the people logging on and doing it has been a challenge. Um, our, our director of oh, technology. Oh, yeah. I, our director of programs was out tonight, so Kashla had to step in. It just, today, yeah. it was crazy. But I definitely tagged uh, you in, um, I'll send it to you again. Um, I tagged, a, I have a lot of family down in um, San Fernando Valley and um, down in LA and uh, Lancaster. So I tagged a bunch of them. It's so, north of us, yeah. Okay, so I tagged a bunch yeah. of them that's down there and I asked them to share to promote um, definitely we'll get behind you and I'm definitely gonna talk to Rico tonight um, do you have your donation button up on your page send you the, the if are we friends on Facebook yes 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 John Henry send me okay I'll, I'll send you the link and like I'll message. tag you when I'm doing stuff all the time definitely you could message me and I'll send it to you and you could post it I was gonna say that um, the irony of uh, that uh, the feature of uh, gems in the community. My dad's, my late father, Dr. Gene Thomas, he used to say all the time that diamonds are made under extreme pressure. And so Fatima reminded me of that. And oh, so of course, that sentiment is true for your platform. So I appreciate that. It just kind of reminded me of him and what he used to say all the time. He yeah. would have loved all of this. We just lost him um, a couple of years ago. He was the first African-American superintendent and he was principal of my high school, so it's ironic the uh, the full circle moment this feels like right now. Yes, it is. I mean, and we gotta we gotta support to get you an office. I was just telling a bunch of people like we gotta support our African American candidates, no matter what part of the state of California. We gotta get behind them. If we have family relatives, we gotta if they're in a district, we have to get them to vote. Uh, we need a new face of change with everything that's going on. Support, even if it's because this is a local municipal race, but people still have a way to support the race in a way that, you know, because we're grassroots that it allows for us to have equal playing field in terms of visibility, that yes. in and of itself changes the game. I mean, when I went from my banners being stolen to my, I just got your info, to my uh, billboards going up, it literally changed the dynamic of this race. It was overnight. It was as I if- I can't believe that they still doing that crap taking down billboard. They was doing it out here too. So the sad. form of voter suppression, of course, and we know this, but uh, the fact is the good comes out because I had a gentleman that owns a record label here and it, Republican, I'm an independent. And he said, you know, cause he's seen me in the community for years. He said, you know what? Send me the artwork for your banners. And I had no idea what his intentions were. And he donated so that billboards can go and really strategic areas um, of our community. And it, these boys didn't know what to do. They were like, wait, what, she did billboards? Well, yeah, yeah right. at the end of the day. <laughs> so. yeah. uh, I'm gonna talk to the co-founder this morning. Uh, we did decide that we're gonna take a pot of uh, some money to put behind a, a, a number of candidates that we support. And um, I'm definitely gonna make sure that we put some of your donation bag to help you out. And again, we're gonna keep pushing your information. Uh, we're gonna replay the video on our uh, both sides of the conversation. I believe we have about 495 members down in Southern California from LA to uh, San Diego. So uh, we go definitely, you know. His reach is, am is amazing. So it's, it's always appreciated. And I, again, I appreciate you guys giving me that, the, the, the time tonight. Well, thank you. That's what we're here for. Yeah. I mean, this is what both sides of the conversation is about. We're about giving a media platform. We're trying to build this up like the city is like in, in negotiation right now about being a hub because we have so many people from the community. And um, 
that's one of the things that's struggling to communicate from things. Yeah. So they looking for another way. We just gonna be one of the hubs to get information to the people um, because they know we have such a following. People are following us. We know there's a lot of community people. So that engagement. So I'm so excited to see that you guys are doing that and that ultimately it's going to branch into other people being inspired to even if it's being engaged at this level, there's so much leadership in our community. There's, a, there's only one seat, but that seat represents a lot of people. Exactly. So it, it definitely gives you exactly. a, a great opportunity to, to have all of us there. I tell everybody, you know, my, my win is everyone's win. So definitely. That's yeah. I appreciate you guys. We behind, yeah. we behind all the sisters that's running right now. There's a lot of federal judge seats up um, that we, we're getting behind these sisters. And uh, yeah, we just got to support each other. And um, like I always tell people, it's not about the how small, how big. It's about getting the information to the people. If that's one vote, two votes, it, it just adds up with uh, communication. So thank you again. Sorry for the decision. The for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Sorry for the Zoom <laughs> hang getting started. No, it happens to all Our of us. director of programs. <laughs> She usually here. She usually takes care of all of this. And uh, one button, yeah. One button. She there's does always it all. that. One there's always that person that can come in and just go click. For exactly. me in my house, it's my 14 year old daughter, so I get it. <laughs> I need it with Morgan. <laughs> right. well, thank, thank you, you guys. Keep your Definitely. Late. Definitely. Uh, doing anything, any information you want to e either message me or text me, just let us know. Like, even if it's a flyer that you just want to promote a week before, like we'll just blast it. You know, me and Rico, we got about 5,000 followers. So like, we'll yeah, because my flyer has like the QR code on it. So it, that'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it to me and we'll, I'll blast it through all our social medias. I promise you. So much, you guys. Thank you very Have much. Have a good night. Have You're a welcome. Good night. All right. Okay. Bye.